Today is a day of remembrance. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today is April 19th. Today is the day that we remember the battles of Lexington and Concord. In case you don't know, it's the very first battle of the American Revolutionary War, and it happened in 1775, April 19th. And some British regulars came out from Boston, they were gonna go confiscate some guns and armament and cannon and whatever. Uh, they show up, there's about 800 of the British regulars. They meet like 70 odd militiamen at uh, Concord or Lexington, I can't remember which one exactly. Uh, disperse them, go out to confiscate nothing because it had all been moved, uh, and then go back to Boston. And all along the way, more and more and more militiamen had come out and just peppered them and thrashed them and shot at them from trees and all kinds of, you know, guerrilla warfare, kind of Native American tactics of the era and caused lots of casualties and harassment and the British did not have a fun time, obviously. Now, it's not this, you know, amazing tactical victory that we're ever gonna study in like the Tutelage and Blood series. However, it marked a historical turning point because men drew a line in the sand and said enough. Like, that, that you will step over this line and we, we mean business at this point. And imagine how much bravery it takes to be woken up in the middle of the night by Paul Revere riding through, right? The British are coming. Uh, grab your, your kit and your rifle and you're gonna go out, you're gonna walk a couple miles from your house and you're gonna start shooting at British soldiers who live, you know, maybe 10, 15 miles from your house. And you're gonna start a war today. That's what you're gonna do. That takes an incredible amount of gumption and an incredible amount of deeply held principles and belief about what you're doing and what liberty is. So we need to remember days like this because we need to remember who you are. If you are here because you want to embrace your martial American heritage, which I hope is why you're here, this is one of the things that we hearken back to and we look back to and we say, that's where we come from. That's where we're descended from. And it's important to note that this wasn't like the professional army that started this deal. This was just everyday people like you and me who had some organization, who had some training, who had a lot of principle and gumption and who said, that's it, we won't play the game anymore. And because we believe in remembering who we are and we believe in embracing that heritage, today on April 19th, do your deadlifts, do your dry fire, check your kit, make sure it's ready, keep all your magazines loaded. I want you to be ready that if your day were ever to come, that you would be able to have the same principle, the same skills, the same training to be able to step onto that field and say enough is enough. The world's a scary place. The world's always been a scary place. But today, remember who you are. Remember where you come from. Keep yourself sharp so that if your day ever comes, if we ever need you, you're ready. I need you to be an asset. I need you to remember your heritage. Today, on April 19th, take your time to make sure that you are living out the heritage of who you are. Do brave deeds and endure.